This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Is this what a little luxury can look like? After all, the Infiniti EX35 is a smaller luxury crossover, isn't it? While it may share a similar footprint with the Rogue from the Nissan side of the family, there are significant differences between the vehicles. In keeping with Infiniti's push to build its own separate cars, the EX is actually an inch shorter and nearly four inches wider than the Rogue. That translates into a more comfortable ride under normal conditions like city streets or expressways. It also delivers a solid feel when pushed in the curbs. Mechanically, the journey differs from others in the segment with its drivetrain. The base model is a rear-wheel drive unit that can actually lay down some rubber if pushed. For those who really want to dig on the road, there's an all-wheel drive platform available. What also makes it stand out is a 7-speed automatic transmission, something not normally available in smaller crossovers. Under the hood, there's a 3.5-liter V6 engine. It's rated at 297 horsepower and 253 foot-pounds of torque. Since it's an Infiniti, it's a high-compression engine with continuous valve timing control. 18-inch standard wheels give it a taller exterior look, but not so much that it's a problem for the average person to get in or out. Like many luxury and non-luxury vehicles, it comes with a navigation package and a backup camera. But in a step up, the Journey also offers a nearly 360-degree view of its surroundings when trying to park thanks to strategically placed cameras in the front and under the outside mirrors. This is part of the usual suite of technology features that have become the trademark of the Infiniti brand. In a week of urban driving, we found the EX is more than capable for commuting, or a trip to the hardware of big box store, while never letting a driver forget that it's a luxury experience which can go off-road if necessary. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.